186,282. For those of you who want it in here just for the credit, that is the speed of light in miles per second. If you prefer kilometers per second, then you get 299,000. 792.458. Thank you, Reed. You're welcome, sir. Show off. I didn't see you whipping out an answer. Although traveling at or near the speed of light has always been theoretically possible, it has long been considered physically impossible. That is, until the discovery of Colossus, a radioactive comet-like energy source traveling in 10-year orbits that tonight will be closest to Earth that it will ever come. So close, in fact, that it will pass through the heart of the Van Allen belt, slow to the speed of the Earth's rotation, and become visible to the human eye. So bring your telescopes, bring your imaginations, and above all, have fun. That's it. Class dismissed. Cannot keep adjusting the primary angles of that prison quadrant. Of course I can. I have to. Your calculations fail to consider. But not here. Outside. All I'm saying is if we don't take into consideration the possibility of a velocity variance, the result could be failure. Victor, we worked on this for four years, okay? I don't want to blow it. Neither do I. So could we at least run a simulation? It'll make me feel better. <laughs> All right. We have time. in your notes and it still seems to me that your calculations calculations are based on your figures i know but all i'm asking you to do is just factor in these revised estimates will you please get to your station what about the simulation it's no time philosophy is here
everything we've ever dreamed of, Lee. It's here right now. We're going to harness the energy of tomorrow. Yes, the future, my friend. get help. You'll be all right. The burns were too severe. I'm very sorry. Save him. It's not already too late. So 
So, you want me to fly that hunk of junk, huh? That hunk of junk, eh? Thank you, that hunk of junk's better than anything you flew in the Air Force. You miss this chance, you'll never have another chance to fly anything like it. I guess you can get grant money to do anything these days. Grant money? Come on, Ben, it's state of the art. Better touch control with telepathic override, full voice activated computerization. All system. Okay. Okay, man. I'm just flying the thing. I'm not buying it. I'm sorry. I do get carried away. But you did promise me that if ever I built it, you would take it up. Huh? And besides, it's very important to me. And you got yourself a pilot. Now all we need is a crew. Hi, Mrs. Storm. Johnny and Susan go to outer space with us? Well, I don't know, dear. You'll have to ask them. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, this is crazy. What do they know about astrophysics? Come on, they may not have Harvard diplomas, but they know more about this project than anyone else on Earth. Besides, you don't let them come. They will never forgive you. Hey, hey Ben, all right. Get in there, Ben. <laughs> hey, you doc? Ready to go? Actually, Johnny, I don't think... We're ready. Hello, Reed. Hello, Susan. Shutting down, Ben Retros. All right. Susan, enter the release sequence. Got it. You got anything, Johnny? Right on time. Baron, 18 degrees west, 5 degrees north. Oh, God, this is awesome. Putting on the turn signal and turning right. Hey, you guys, Colossus is closing awfully fast. I mean, this thing's really motoring. You don't have a lot of time, Susan. I'm all set. Engage. <laughs> Second it hits the inner circle, Johnny, you activate the gravitational field. Aye, aye, sir. Ben, no matter what, you keep her steady. That's exactly why you pay me the big bucks. Hang on. Susan, activate the antenna. <laughs> Yeah! Right, cowboy! Ah. The diamonds are fake. Ben, get us out of here! Get! Ben!
Over here. Oh my God. Careful, I must be in shock. I don't feel any pain. Let me get you out of here. What's going on here? Scratch on us, and the ship is in a hundred pieces. We're fine? Come on, doesn't that bother anybody just a little? Oh, well, okay, we're not all together fine. I got a bit of dirt in my nose. Oh. Uh. Must have dropped telemetry. You mean we fell off the radar? Oh, great. This is gonna be days before they find us, especially if they think we're dead. I'm scared, Reed. Just tell me what is happening to us. I'm sorry, Susan. I can't. I don't know. There's no need to panic. Panic? Panic? Read, read, my sister here disappears at the drop of a hat. You, you, you stretch like some human rubber band, and I'm a walking blowtorch, and you don't want us to panic? Oh, oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Sit down, Johnny. Johnny, there'll be an explanation for this. There's always a scientific explanation for everything. Ain't that right, Ben? What should we do, Reed? What should we do? First thing we're gonna do is get some rest. I think some of us need it. Maybe we can think more clearly in the morning. Johnny, you think you can keep that fire of yours going a little while longer? We might need it, pal.
be all right. I promise. What do you mean, alive? Look, our, our surveillance indicates, Your Highness, that uh, we survived. No. It's not possible. Find it before anyone else does. Is that understood? Find them. Find them! So these were used for the, um, the helmet fittings, right? That's right. I thought so. Um, good luck on that memorial statue, by the way. Those, those people really, they deserve the best. I'll try. Good night. Good night. Oh, good night. Yeah. Uh, right. Good night. What is beauty, says my suffering soul? You, my people, my beautiful, beautiful people, we are such things as dreams are made on. I have given you a home, have given you self-respect, yes. and have asked yes. nothing in return until now. I have recently acquired a most incredible gift, a gift worthy of a queen. That is what I ask of you, my people. You will bring me my queen. A queen! A queen!
Dr. Reed Richards? Yes? We're here to escort you to debriefing. I have a jet waiting about two clicks from here. Hey. I'd just like to gather your... <laughs> hey, get, get, get down! Get down! Oh. Hey, what's going on? No, he's with my crew! Oh, wow. Ben? What? Uh, what do you guys look... Good evening, Mr. Grimm. I'm Dr. Hoffman. You have been placed in isolation until we can determine the cause of your condition. I'm going to need to take a blood sample, although I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat so we can maybe work this out together? been making fires out of nothing, if that's what you mean. Yes. Big fires? No, no. Little things like, um... Do you think you could explain this to me? Maybe demonstrate how it works? I don't know. I just concentrate on a part of my body, like, uh... You know, like my hand, and I just lay them on. Flame, flame off, flame off, flame off! I guess we figured out the magic words, huh, Doc? Miss Storm, you don't break things or explode into flames or anything like that now, do you? No. Good. I... I, um... I sort of... Miss Storm? Behind you. Are you okay? Kier, take your own blood. Okay. These people are medical miracles. They hold the key to the greatest single breakthrough in scientific history. Colossus lives in them. Yes. And if we could extract it from them, well, imagine the power we could unleash, Your Highness. And what if we took it all and put it into one man? Into one man? Well, it's all conjecture, I suppose, but... Answer the question, Doctor. There's 
no telling how powerful that man would become. <laughs> Wonderfully interesting. Thank you, Dr. Hauptmann. A project of this magnitude must be undertaken at once. They must be drained completely and absolutely. Certain preparations must be made on our part. And I must pay a visit to the jeweler. I have a need for his diamond now. Here to see the jeweler. A bouquet of flowers would have been infinitely preferable. <laughs> Tell him we will make it worth his while. Very worth his while. Mm. Bring him. I can't take it anymore. Look, we've got to get out of here, huh? I don't even know if they've called Mom to tell her that we're still alive. I can't get a straight answer from anyone. I mean, it's no phones, no television, no nothing, huh? I mean, we're not patients here. We're prisoners. <sighs> what do you think, Ben? I want to cure Reed. You heard Halpin. We're contagious. No wonder they don't want the outside world to have contact with us. Maybe we should stay here a while longer until we find out what's wrong. Why don't they let me into the lab? Hmm? Why all this mystery? Why? Why don't they let us help ourselves? Exactly. Look, I say we go for it, huh? I mean, what have we got to lose? Johnny, come on. We're either all in this together, or we don't move. What do you want me to do? The diamond is not for sale at any price. You see, it has been promised to another the gem belongs to my beautiful queen, Alicia. She does not seem to be very happy to have it. <laughs> Silence! She will be when she realizes we are alike outcasts in this world. But that is none of your concern. You have your answer. Now, leave. Well, we cannot do that. If you will not sell us the diamond, we will have no choice but to take it. It seems the odds of your survival are pretty slim. Tell your boss that the diamond is not for sale, period. If you come back again, I won't be so merciful. Escort the queen 
to my room. I need to have a private um, consultation. his response, your highness. Should we go back and eliminate him? No. Stakes are too high. I'll handle this personally. Stay where you are. I'll be there by nightfall tomorrow. Time to take another blood sample. Sleeves up. What am I supposed to do with these guys? Talk to them. You've got a captive audience. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay. Jacks are better open. as a kid finally paid off, huh? This might just give us the answers we're looking for. What language is this? I have no idea. Somehow it looks familiar. What do you got there, Johnny? Not sure, but... Hopefully, it's a way out of here. Look! <laughs> Bingo! Come on, Johnny, let's hurry. Johnny, this looks like it incorporates some some kind of atomic splitter. Huh. It's brilliant. Thank you. Coming from you, Dr. Richard, that is quite a compliment. Who are you? My name is Doom. Nice suit. Where are we? Beautiful, charming little country. Thy supreme and beloved monarch. Come back and visit us sometime for a vacation. Bring the kid. <laughs> that is when I'm finished with you. You're finished with us now. No, 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 no! I have not even started. We're going home. So rude of you! After all the trouble, I want you to feel at home. And you're running off like naughty little children. I just can't allow that. Yeah, well, who asked you, you overgrown tin can? What? Hampers, aren't we, Jonathan? Take my advice. Keep your... Who? I'm in the giving vein today, Doctor. Return to your rooms and wait like good little children. Or 
Or you will know pain far better than your worst nightmare. I'm sorry I'm late. Miss anything? We're going home. Very painful vision. I had hoped would not come to this. Alive or dead, your value for me remains the same. I will not sully my hands. I will return when you have heard your lesson. Reed? Yeah? I, um... Uh, well, I just wanted to say that... Um... Well... I mean, whatever comes of this... I mean, even even if we don't recover... Or, 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 or uh, if we get worse... Oh, I... Um... Something shouldn't go unsaid. Why am I always so shy around you? What did you say? Well, I, I just want to. Susan, what did you just say about being shy? It, this is a problem that I have sometimes. When, that's it, I, Susan. That's it. You've got a problem with being shy, right? So you vanish. Yet. <laughs> Johnny, you've always had a quick temper now. Come on, ever since I've known you, right? You could call it fiery, so what happens? I catch fire. Exactly. And me, I've always had this problem. I just stretch myself thin all the time, trying to take care of everybody, trying to do everything at once. Too many things. <gasps> ben, 
You've always relied too much on brute strength when your intelligence would have sufficed. <sighs> Don't you see? Listen, we know one thing from the blood test. And that's that our DNA has been altered. But I think Colossus has touched our psyche. I think it's made us feel that our worst character defects are in fact our greatest strengths. Holy Freud, Batman, I think you're right. Okay. Except that the three of us go back to normal. Our changes are only temporary, but... I mean, why has Ben like that all the time? That I don't know. Yeah. And I don't care. The bottom line is, you can all live normal lives. I'm the one who's a freak. Isn't it right, buddy? There's nothing more to say. I'm gonna get out of here. Don't stop me. It's just the place. I don't care what you want. are the Fantastic Four, remember? Now we're more like the Terrific Three. He'll be back. Huh. Welcome, my friend. We offer you no harm. They don't understand like we understand. <coughs> you look so tired. You need a place to rest. A place where you belong. Come with me. you home. <laughs> in other news, police are requesting any information that may help in solving the kidnapping case of Alicia Masters from her West End studio. Ms. Masters had been working on a memorial statue. I have never felt like an outcast. And I don't feel beautiful here. It's here. 
I'm an outsider. Oh, please let me go home. Oh, you can keep me tied up here for the rest of my life, but I will never learn to be your queen. Never! What? We have a new member of the family. So, so, he's the most fascinating one I've ever seen. You will have to meet him. Keep an eye on the queen. She is not to leave this room until I say so. I said, watch, not smell. Where is he? Let me introduce you to Ben. Oh. Oh, my. The pain. The pain you have endured, my beautiful brother. No more. I will take it all away. You have found a home here. A world where you can rise to the greatness you deserve. You, give him anything he asks for. Treat him well. Rest, my weary traveler. The life you always should have had begins right now. I'm going on a little day trip. I expect the laser to be fully operational upon my return. No questions, I trust. Very good. But how is it even possible that Doom knows about the diamond? Or about gathering Colossus, for that matter? Reed, you're the only one alive that even knows the details of this experiment. Yeah, she's got a point. Nobody's ever thought of harnessing Colossus except for you. Your friend Victor, of course. Where's my dust suit from the castle? Closet. Victor is alive. You only once to stand aside. Time's up. Touch it and 
she dies. So? I mean it. Please, don't let me stop you. Let her go. Ben, Ben. Ben? I said, let her go. Oh, yes. By all means, let her go. Ben? Let her go. Watch yourself, Mr. Grimm. I can do a lot of damage before you get hit. Doom, it's clobbering time. <laughs> ah, well, well. It seems lover boy is not quite himself today. Kill him. <laughs> Let him go. We have what we want. Oh, and a little. Insurance as well. Hello, Dr. Ritter. Good to see me again. <laughs> this is a little device I've been playing. I hope for your sake it's working well. I have a diamond and a friend of Mr. Grimm. Oh, by the way, that laser you saw it's finished now. Allow me to demonstrate its purpose. You have 12 hours to surrender yourselves to me. Or I'll wipe out New York City! <laughs> Suits. You're not going anywhere without me. Ben! All right. <laughs> Don't ask. I'm back and that's all that matters. It's good to have you back, but I got news for you. Doom is your old friend, Victor. What? He's got a friend of yours with him. Yeah, tell me about it. Now, hold on a minute. It was my quest to bury Victor's memory that got us involved in this mess in the first place. He'll be waiting, and we know it. But there's no need for all of you involved no way i'm going i've got my reasons i have my reasons too i love you reed i love you too i gotta make sure nothing here happens to sis besides we are the Fantastic Four, right? Right. Hey, you guys, you guys. Don't you think this is just a little too easy, huh? Yeah, I love walking into a trap, don't you? I don't know. I've never done it before. Which way? Bedroom? That way. Expect trouble.
Maybe we got here early enough to buy ourselves some time. Now listen to me, gang. I want you to keep your eyes open. Johnny, I'm going to see if I can figure out a way to disarm this laser. Pitiful. You are pitiful. Half the fun is the chase. You've robbed me of even that. Ah, well. <laughs> At least you've left me the pleasure of the kill. That is, of course, after I've taken from you what I want. Colossus, right? Victor? Ah, a name from the past. You may call me Dr. Doom. Faithful now, ten years ago, made me what I am today. I had such a unbearable hatred for you, Rick. For turning me into this. Look at it. See it. <laughs> Does it amuse you? When I heard you were to face Colossus again, I knew it would be the fitting instrument of my revenge. But just think, in what is in each of you, is all in me. <laughs> well, imagine that. And a special treat for you, Mr. Grimm. After I have cleansed you of your power, you may watch my men kill the one who claims to love you. Just before you die. <laughs> oh, well, if you can't appreciate the irony, at least I do. <laughs> Begin the transfer! This way, Reed. At least you've saved New York. For now. <laughs>
Chart blocked. Firing in 30 seconds. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, No, but I can. I've been wanting to blow up that destructor away since I was a kid, huh? Blame on! Doom. Alicia Masters. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. It's not like you to run away from a challenge, Victor. Yes, you're right, Reed. Considering all that has happened here tonight, I'll take what I can get. I'm going to enjoy killing you very much. <laughs> trying to kill my friends and this this is for being a real jerk once. Remember. Hang on, Victor. <laughs> you see, you have not the courage to strike the final blow, do you? Just as ten years ago you failed in our moment of triumph, you betrayed me. Colossus was to be ours together, and now it stands between us. You still have a chance, Reed. Go on. Save me! Do not think for a moment I shall ever rest until I have what is rightfully mine. <laughs> Here's to the future, my friend. Let's go home. Let's hope we have a home to go to.
Try not to get into any trouble till you get back. Have fun.